Medical experts working in Limerick Maternity Hospital said that the practice of not offering ultrasounds before prescribing abortion pills could lead to maternal deaths. Neve E. Brian, uh, Neve e. Brian uh, is an author in Grip Media and she joins me on the line. Neve, good afternoon to you. We've been told consistently, and we have been told for at least a decade, that you know women's safety is paramount in relation to healthcare, in particular healthcare around abortion, and that in fact we, we, we were told that we should repeal the Eighth Amendment precisely because we were told we needed to do so to keep women safe. Carol Nolan, the independent TT, TD, put forward a very important amendment to the law and she asked Simon Harris to put a clause into the legislation which would ensure that if a woman was having an abortion and she, and she was getting the abortion pill, that she would get an ultrasound before that abortion, okay? And the reason for that is because if you don't have an ultrasound, you can't see where the baby is going. They found that the, you know, the pain and the bleeding after taking the abortion pill was a lot worse than they expected, right? So, the woman would, in this case, undoubtedly, and this is what medics have said to me, would have just thought this is part of the process with the abortion pill. She ends up being rushed to hospital in, in an ambulance. They have to resuscitate her. Yet, you know, her life is in danger. And they managed to save her life in, 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 in the maternity hospital in Nimri. But until very recently, the HSC had up on its website the advice that you should flush what they call the pregnancy remains down the toilet. And I just think there's no respect for the mother or the baby there now, you know what I mean?